guys, I'm back here with another unboxing. And this is actually a figure that I've been extremely excited about getting since it was first announced and then immediately the second it became up on pre-order on AmiAmi. Ami. That was like the fastest pre-order I've ever done. So this is a figure by my favorite uh, my favorite lolly artist. Oh, he does hentai also. Uh, Henreader. And this is the very first uh, figure that he's uh, part of the illustration of based on one of his art that I actually do own the art book except I can't show it because it's... YouTube hates uh, that type of stuff. Uh, but here is the box, and the box uh, will give you an idea. Of course, I'm gonna open it and review it. But this is by Orchard Seed. That's a one-six scale figure by, and her name is Yu. You can see Henry Reader, and then it shows. I really like that. It shows a little cat stuff. And there, her name Yu, one-six scale figure. So pretty nice box. Um, just in case you're wondering, uh, it's all censored and then it has just a giant picture of the illustration art here. So uh, you don't have to worry about the box being extremely lewd. Everything's censored in the back. But let's go ahead and get this unboxed and see how the figure looks. Included with this figure is going to be an extra bra so that if you don't want to have her topless but you still want to have a bra on her and expose her nipples for extra sexiness, then you can use that extra bra. You also get a second tail which has an anal bead at the end of it so you, I'm pretty sure you kind of know where that's going to be attached for and here's the base which has a series name on it and of course her backpack. Unfortunately only her bra is removable, her panties are not removable so the only thing you'll be able to enjoy is going to be the imprint of her vulva through her panties but they actually detailed that so that's pretty good. The good thing is that you are able to change out her tail so if you saw that little piece this is what the piece goes to. You remove the tail that's attached to it and you put the piece there behind her panties then just grab the second tail and insert the anal beads where the hole is and that's it you don't have to worry about it falling off or anything of how deep it's going in there i really do like that they give you the option to have more of a cutesy look or this one that's a lot more lewd having the butt plug in for me personally i plan on displaying her topless and with the tail that attaches her panties instead of the butt plug one just because i kind of like how that one looks more but like i said it's pretty awesome that they give you options starting with the face you can easily tell how well it's sculpted if you have seen any other hand reader art like his art books his doujinshi's tapestries anything like that you can see the way that he draws lollies is extremely specific where it's extremely cutesy looking and then they have of course the super big eyes this figure does not disappoint it is sculpted extremely nicely you can see their hair is pink she has the nice blushy cheeks and then she has the weaking face and then the mouth that she's making goes really good with her nico look so they stuck very well and very close to how the illustration art is and they also painted her fingernails so this is also another thing that i always like to see on figure manufacturers where they pay very close attention to detail you technically can display this figure without the backpack on however like i unfortunately learned the hard way is that any little touch on her makes the figure fall immediately so that's why the backpack has a little plastic bit that goes attached to the chair and that actually helps balance her very very well so the proper way is of course to put her with the backpack once you put the backpack on her she basically can't fall at all unless you literally just smack her off of it so you can display her without the backpack like i said but you just got to be extremely careful that she won't fall and then you get some scuffs on her now when you're putting the backpack on her i recommend that you put the backpack on the sweater first before you put the sweater back on her if you're taking off her bra or putting it back on because unfortunately when i put the backpack on the very first time i was trying to put on the backpack after i was putting her sweater on and end up getting scuffed behind her now i i'm able to clean that off with an eraser but it's better just to have the backpack on and prevent this from ever happening so it really sucks when you get scuffs on figures like these if you've seen any of my other videos then you'll know that i'm a really big sucker for girls that have thigh high socks or stockings and i really do love that this one does have that you can see the little bow ties on her end of her stockings and that looks extremely cute i really do like that they added that it's of course on the illustration art so it's really awesome that they went ahead and sculpted it on here and then of course the bottom you can see just how well it's sculpted so it'd be like where her ankle is and stuff like that or in the back where her foot is kind of bending so of course the back of her stocking will be bending just little small details like that i always love one thing i don't necessarily love about this figure is that on her panties on the other side basically where you wouldn't be facing her her panty string just ends at her hip for some reason i think it's kind of weird they should just go all the way around i mean even though they didn't want to make it detachable they could just had it sculpted all the way around and you can display her from any direction without it kind of looking awkward but that's just one thing i don't know if it's nitpicking or what you guys think about that 
I would also like to know what you guys think of her hair. Personally, I think it looks really nice that it's pink. It goes very well with her and the sweater that she has. But I actually own the official art books by Hen Reader and the doujinshi and the hentai manga that he has released. And in all of it, she actually has very light blonde hair. She doesn't have pink hair. So they changed it for this figure. I'm assuming they might have changed it so it can look more cutesy and uh, go with her sweater. But just one thing that if you actually own other Henry or stuff and you want to get this figure, just keep in mind that her hair is pink and not blonde like it is in the illustration art. But other than that, honestly, it looks really nice. I actually do like it pink. I didn't actually notice that until I was looking at the illustration art again after I took out my art book and I was like, oh, wow, her hair is changed on here. But it looks really nice. I really do like it. My last nitpick about this figure is going to be the tips of the front of her hair. You can kind of see very small bits where they didn't fully cut after sculpting it. It gives the vibes of a slightly cheaper figure. But this figure is not cheap at all in both price and overall quality. So if you really do like Henry or stuff, if you want more lolly figures, this one I really do highly recommend. I really do like everything about it. Those small things are just nitpicks. They don't really bother me too much. And honestly, I think it's safe to say that this figure is actually one of my top 10 favorite figures of all the ones I own. And definitely Definitely it's going to be my number one lolly figure and let's see if it holds that spot after we get Taya Kukten hopefully this month because she's been delayed. But as always you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram so you can see when I get figures before I upload them here or the ones I don't. And as always I'll see you in the next one.